The previous 20 years of Valentino Rossi's illustrious career in Grand Prix motorcycle racing have been marked by a variety of events. As he has raced to nine world championship victories, the doctor has created an entire mythos around him. From his victory celebrations to his famous number 46. His bitter rivalries and disputes, however, are another significant aspect of his career that have contributed to cementing him as the most well-known figure in the annals of two-wheeled racing. They are as much a part of his legacy as his legendary first Yamaha victory at Wellcome. Welcome to our MotoGP channel, where you'll find all the information, updates, and action from the world of motorcycle racing. Hit subscribe now to join our community of MotoGP fans. According to the adage, every hero needs a villain, and Rossi's career has been full of them. Rossi, however, seems to be dealing with more than just that. He's been the king of the MotoGP castle for so long that it seems like he needs someone to push him to inspire and bring out the best in him. Perhaps it is the only explanation for why he has spent so much time over the years agitating a few of his fellow riders. We decided to rank Rossi's most major MotoGP feuds from most trivial to most seismic after Rossi himself chose to restoke his animosity with Marc Marquez by bringing up their 2015 Sepang Clash in a recent preseason interview. This week on our channel, we will be diving deep into the careers of some of sport's greatest riders. Each day, we will be discussing five riders, with a focus on a different rival of Valentino Rossi each day. So make sure to tune in daily for an in-depth look at some of the most iconic figures in MotoGP history. On today's episode, we'll be diving into the career of Jorge Lorenzo, one of Valentino Rossi's biggest rivals. Jorge Lorenzo is a retired Spanish professional rider who has made a significant impact on the MotoGP World Championship. He began his career in the 125cc class in 2002, where he quickly established himself as a rising star in the sport. He moved up to the 250cc class in 2006 and won his first world championship the following year. In 2008, he made the move to the Premier MotoGP class, where he competed for Yamaha. He quickly adapted to the powerful 1000cc bikes and won the MotoGP Rookie of the Year award in his debut season. He continued to dominate in the following years, winning his first MotoGP World Championship in 2010 and adding two more in 2012 and 2015. And during his career, he raced for Yamaha, Ducati, and Repsol Honda team. Lorenzo is known for his smooth and precise riding style, which helped him to become one of the most successful riders in the history of the sport. He retired from MotoGP in 2019 after a long and successful career. He was considered one of the best riders of his generation, and his achievements in the sport are unlikely to be forgotten. It's fair to say that Rossi's relationship with his longtime Yamaha teammate was more of a simmering resentment that managed to last for the better part of a decade than an outright war against each other. Rossi's desire that the factory Yamaha squad switch to Bridgestone tires in order to help him defeat Casey Stoner and Ducati in 2008 and team rookie Lorenzo's subsequent unwillingness to leave Michelin were the initial causes of it. Due to this, a physical barrier was built between the two ostensibly to keep competing tire technicians separate, but also to prevent Rossi's young teammate from learning too much about what was happening on the other side of the box. When Lorenzo began to succeed, things didn't get any better, especially when he fully capitalized on Rossi's damaged leg in 2010 to win his first championship. However, tension subsided somewhat during Rossi's unsuccessful years at Ducati, and they didn't completely return when Rossi rejoined Yamaha at least not until a fateful day in Sepang 2015. Due to Rossi's perception that Marquez was trying to assist Lorenzo in winning the title, as well as the fact that Marquez was sitting behind Lorenzo and acting as his apparent bodyguard throughout the title-deciding race, Lorenzo became involved in the Rossi-Marquez conflict. What had up to that point been a relatively calm relationship became even more tense. But since Lorenzo's personal switch to Ducati, things have gotten better even while they aren't exactly best friends yet, the two have been able to put the past behind them and behave politely with one another, especially over the past year as a result of Lorenzo's temporary position as a Yamaha test rider. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create even more great content for you.
Please leave us a comment and let us know what you think. See you in the next video.